forget how much your family loves you. It's almost sunrise. One cannot deny who one is meant to be. What do you want people to sort of take away from Coco? The, the number one thing is we want people to be entertained. Yeah. And because it's a Pixar film, we know that they will be. What I'm most excited about is that they'll receive everything they've come to expect from a Pixar film, which is, you know, an incredible adventure, a whole lot of humor, and even some emotional content that they might not expect. But it's all done against the backdrop of Mexican culture, one of the most vibrant, beautiful cultures that there are. Yeah. And, and to date, one that's been incredibly underserved. Whenever I see the film, I reflect on my own life story. You know, I, 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 I uh, project, you know, completely. And um, it is a film that potentializes that, that makes you question what, uh, what you're going through in terms of life, in terms of your relationship with death, with family, with, uh, you know, it, it is a film that you cannot escape in that sense. You, you, cannot, you, you have to face it on your own experience. Uh, and you can only do that through a very good movie. You cannot do that if, if the, the philosophical argumentative aspect was, was treated correctly. Uh, if the film is not good, then it doesn't work. Yeah. You know, it can only work if it's a good movie. You know, we worked really hard to try to make this an entertaining film that was also really meaningful and emotional. And to see people reacting the way they are, to see how affected many people have been watching the movie is just uh, incredibly gratifying to us. We, we've released in Mexico and, and even just from, from those reactions, the outpouring of love, the outpouring of pride, the, the stories about people who feeling like they, they are connected or need to connect connect to their families because of watching this film. And that's more than you can hope for when you're creating a story, but when, when, when you feel it, you, you, you treasure it because um, that's, that's part of the artist experience yeah. is connecting. Well, I just can't wait for people to see this wonderful film because it teaches you very valuable lessons since like um, it teaches you the, the importance of family, which is very important to me and Miguel. And um, also it has music, which is so cool. And it may teach children out there to really do what they love, just like Miguel does. Mm. Even though there's many obstacles in his way, like his family, Miguel still doesn't give up and he still really does what he wants to do. And that's cool and I feel like children may look up to Miguel and start doing what they love to do if they have like a secret hidden passion. We just hope that the film makes people think about their own families more and their places within their families and ways that they can honor you know the people that they love and um, you know help to keep their memories alive in a very um, ritualized way to take the time every year to to remember them and tell their stories. It feels great to know that this tradition and this reflection on, on on life and death uh, can spread all over the world and this is one of the mediums it can can achieve that. So in a way it's a kind of reintroduction to uh, a culture that's been here since the inception of, of what the United States is. Latino culture is as American as apple pie as it is chips and salsa and so it's going to be cool to kind of reintroduce that idea or that fact really to the rest of the world.